Guru Mahala Mondo Alem. Walemo. Mighty King, the creator of heavens and earth and of therein, we thank you, Father, because you are indeed all powerful God. You founded the seas and the waters. Lord, thank you for this fire you brought us. We thank you for every little thing that you've done in our lives. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your providence this week. Lord, as we continue with this Sabbath, Lord, we acknowledge the fact that all of us have come in their special ways to seek your faith, for your face. Lord, we ask for your guidance in all the programs that we'll have this day. Lord, there are those of us who've come here with heavy hearts because of various challenges they are undergoing. In a special way, I put them into your hands. Lord, as they call upon your name, Lord, we ask you not to hide your face from them, but listen to their cry. Lord, we ask you to remember even those of us who for one reason or the other were not able to make it this Sabbath, Lord. Be with them wherever they are. There are some who are sick in hospital beds. Lord, you are the master healer. Provide the healing. Lord, there are those who are facing various forms of injustice, Lord. You are the mighty judge, Lord. Provide the, ju the judgment, Lord, because you are the only one who can provide the righteous judgment. Lord, this special Sabbath, namely the family worship Sabbath, Lord, we ask you to take care of our family because the institution of marriage is threatened, the institution of family is threatened because the enemy is not happy when this institution is stable. Lord, we put all our families into your hands. Lord, take care of the parents, take care of the children, take care of all members of the family as you prepare each and every family for your kingdom. We ask you, Lord, that may your Holy Spirit continue to take charge of this service as we continue with it to the end. Lord, in a special way, I put your man servant into your hand as he be standing to talk to us. Lord, speak through him. Lord, may the seed that is going to plant find soft soil in our hearts and germinate so, so that it can prepare us for your kingdom. Be with us all the way to the end of the service. In Jesus' name, I pray. Happy Sabbath, church. Happy day. Before we start our story, let's pray. Father in heaven, we come before you this moment to thank you for the day you have given unto us, Father. As you see, you want to start our story. May you be with us until the end. In Jesus' name, amen. Our story today is about faith during tough times. Our story involves a family of three, which had the mother, the father, and the daughter, who was called Rebecca. They all believed in Jesus, and they always went to church each and every Sabbath, just like we all do. One day, just like yesterday, on a Friday, a mother was at home preparing breakfast, Emily, uh, the sister to Rebecca, and, father, and uh, together with father left, and uh, father dropped Emily and Rebecca in, to, in school. In the evening, father did, did not come to pick the two children up. After some time, Emily and Rebecca's friends came and, uh, and uh, told them to go home together. Uh, Emily and Rebecca were dropped off by their friends, and then their friends proceeded to their various homes. Mother prepared dinner and uh, then called father, but father didn't reply to, the, to mother's call, phone calls. After some time, they ate and then went to sleep. 
It was now midnight and father did not return, had not returned home yet. Mother was worried. She received a phone call from the local nurse who told her that father had passed away. Uh, she started mourning and calling her relatives who helped her to plan the burial. When Rebecca and her sister got the news, they were very shocked. Instead of Rebecca crying and mourning like all the others, she, sat, she knelt down and prayed and then started reading her Bible and comforting the others. After some two weeks, her father was buried, then they were now to go back to school and continue with their normal lives. Mother stopped engaging in spiritual activities and instead just started engaging in ungodly activities like getting drunk. Rebecca and Emily weren't happy about this. One day, Rebecca was going to church, then she decided to invite mother. Uh, mother told her to go into her room and she also told her that she is not going to church and uh, Rebecca was sad about this. She went and uh, took a bath then instead of obeying mother she ran to church. After some time Rebecca came back home for lunch so then uh, she, w she was planning to go back to church. Mother locked her up in her room. Rebecca shouted Mother, mother, I know that you are sad about father passing away, but this is the time that you should uh, have stronger faith in God. You shouldn't stop engaging in spiritual activities, but uh, instead have stronger faith in God because he is the only one who can provide for the, us uh, after father has passed away. Uh, 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 a mother went to her room and the next morning she came into Rebecca and Emily's room and told them that she will start going back to church again and believing in God. As little lambs, as little children, we should also spread the word just like uh, Rebecca did. After, after, father, after their father passed away, she never stopped having faith in God and she even encouraged her mother to go back to church. What do you say to that story? We're going to get it from the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 31 to 32. It says that the Lord alone is God. God alone is our defense. He is the God who makes me strong, who makes my pathway safe. So we get that God is, is our defense and he will always show us the right way and we should always have faith in him. Like a soldier, a soldier cannot go to battle without a shield. The shield will be his defense and if he does not have it, he might die. So we should also have God as our defense and always have him in our hearts so that our faith in him cannot die. And we should also be strong so that God may lead us to the right ways. Amen. So I have one question. What, from the story, we get that we should do something in times of trouble. What can we do in times of trouble? Anyone? Benta. Pray to God. Correct. We should always pray to God and have faith in Him. Uh, that's all. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Our kind and everlasting master in heaven, we thank you for the gift of this day. We thank you for helping us to learn the lesson that we have just learned today. As we are going to continue with the other programs, we ask you to be with us and guide us until we finish this Sabbath in Jesus' name, I pray and believe. This one, this in is our DNA. Amen. Thank Amen. you. I have donated a composition for you. You can sing it 
at your own time. And I'm happy to note that that Ogengo Choir among other choirs has qualified to participate in the Union Music Festival. What do we say? Amen. We shall meet there together because my choir has also gotten the opportunity to participate. Uh, please uh, get, uh, receive greetings from my family and from my, uh, from Rose's mother. Kendo Mama Mar, mean Madam Rose. Eh, Madam Rose. Amen. Mama yake ni mama yangu kwa Amen. kijalua. Amen. Please stand and wave to the congregation. Amen. Uh, I also have uh, another relative. Angi wat na moroka kendo. We have another Roslyn. Wangi Roslyn machielo. Roslyn Opodo. And Rose, the other lady, Rosalina Keo, Rosalina Opudo, what any Rose? And Opudo, where are you? Charles, Charlie, where are you? Hi. Hi, Mama, greet on the behalf. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Naskuru watu ogengo. Ago ero kamano nejo ogengo. Kwa kunitambua. Mondo migi yanga ili niweze kufundisha neno la Mungu katika kanisa hili Mondo miabia punji wa nyasai e kanisa hili Nikikumbuka vizuri Kaparo maber This is my fourth time to stand on this pulpit Ma inudi uchinga mara ngwen kachunge altar ka The first time I came Mokongo kana biro It was during Pastor Okore's time Nen tulo mane wangija dolo Pastor Okore We became friends with Pastor Okore Ne wabedo siepegi Pastor Okore When he was a guest speaker in our church at Kanyadiang Samane bende ukelo ote kanisa wa mar Kanyadiang And later on he also invited me to come and share the word of God with you Pastor Bange benogwe la mondo biwa punjere wa nyasa I also came during Pastor Eli Kapata's time Na chaka and during the current pastor. Thank you very much. Uh, before I continue, may I see by hand how many knows me? Juane Jogo Madinge Agilwedo. Very good. Thank you very much. Amen. So it means. I'm not uh, uh, a visitor or uh, a newcomer here. Manu nyisu ni okanwenda ahinyaka. Thank you very much. Hero kamano. At the beginning of the week, Kane juma chakre, I got a phone call from uh, Elder Nasa. Ne ayudo si muka uokuom Elder Nasa. That I uh, should come and... Uh, Share the word of God with you during your family uh, family life Sabbath. And therefore, I want to thank the church board and the uh, uh, council of elders who have given me this opportunity. Thank you very much. Um, I, I, because time is spent, I'll try to be brief. Then uh, later in the afternoon is when we shall say more. Uh, it will force me to summarize. Because I know some of uh, some some of us. Have problems with ulcers, and they would wish to leave early and go and eat. Thank you very much. Amen. Uh, my uh, uh, my topic of today is the church My topic of today is unity in the family. is unity in the family. Unity in the family. A familia. Au umoja katika familia. Katabedo e kanyakla e familia. Yeah. Uh, God is happy. Nyasai mor. 
the same way we sang in uh, uh, hymn number 278. But everything is good if there is peace, love, and unity in the family. And that is very fundamental. The same way you read the book in the book of uh, Psalms 133 that in a pendeza na ni vema kama ndugu wanaishi pamoja kwa upendo. Mungu anafrahishwa tukifanya hivyo. Therefore, the book of Romans 12 has got something good. Verse 9. Mutu akipata asome. It will now force me to paraphrase. Because of time. It says. Let love be without hypocrisy. Ya kwamba upendo isiwe na unafiki. Hera kikbed gi yo moro mar mar wondruok. Kwa hivyo katika familia yetu. Kwa mano e familia wa. Ni vizuri. Engi maber. Tuwe watu wakweli. Mondo wabed gi jogo majo hera mar adir. Sio unafiki. Ok moro mar wondruok. Na upendo huu. To hera ni. Inatakiwa. Idware. Ianze kutoka kwa watoto. Nyako chakre kwa mnyithino. Pamoja na wazazi. Karli woregi jonyuolke. Wazazi waki, wakipendana. Jonyuolka oherore. Na kama ni upendo wadhati. Kaen hera maradier. Watoto pia wanaiga. Nyithindo bekuru biro kopo jonyuol. Wanapo ishi. Kagi dak. Wanaishi kujua kwamba baba na mama wamependana. Gibiro dak kagi ngeyo ni baba gi mama johero. Kwa hivyo nao pia watakapo kwa watu wazima. Ginpende kagi biro do bedo nyoko madogo. Na wakipata familia yao. Kagi yudo familia gi. Wata fuata jinsi walivya ona kwa wazazi. Gibiro luo managino manegineno kumjumuo. Na kama baba na mama wana farakana toka mama gi baba gi njogo magwere ke dogore that is the order of the day gibiro fwenyo ni mano yo mu bi ata kama watakapo oa kata ka gibiro nyombo nao pia wanaweza kufarakana gibe koro gibiro bedo gilwenye dagi kwa hivyo kwa mano upendo wa dhati hera mar adier inatakiwa idwaro kwa hivyo upendo hera pamoja na amani kori woregi kwe in a letter my in the leo na mafanikio kelo dongruo kendo kelo di mabe atuwezi kufanikiwa o kwanyal di mabe kama atuna upendo kawa onge hera kama atuna amani kawa onge kue na yesu kristo awezi kubali to yesu bende okinyali kie kuhishi pahali ambapo mondo miyodagi kuna mafarakano kama nitire tuomu ama kuna kuna vita na ugomvi kama ntire lueny katagidao the spirit cannot dwell there rom takatifu okinyal bedo kama chalo kamano kwa hivyo lazima tuonyeshe upendo kila wakati nyaka wanyisera ikinde kakinde hebu tusome wasoma nena warumi kumina ine kumina tisa jorumi ya paga ngwen wesne ochiko inatuambia kwamba o wachonwa niya tufuate mambo ya amani walu yore magkwe Yanayo faa kujengana. Make lodongruo kendo mio wagerore. Tukiwa na amani. Kawa ngikue. Katika manjumani mwetu. E utua. Tutakuwa na mafanikio mengi. Wabiro bedo kuwa di mabere gitu mangeni. Na tutajengana. Tokendo wabiro gerore. Tukimizana katika safari hii ya binguni. Kawa jiwo re uwotu maripoloni. Atuwezi kufaulu kwa mambo ya kiroho ama mambo ya jamii kama atuna upendo, kama atuna amani. Kwa hivyo, ni muhimu tuwe na amani pamoja na upendo. Ili tuweze kufanikiwa kwa shuguli zetu za kiroho biyashara zetu hata kazi ni kwetu kama mkristo inatakiwa uonyeshe upendo kila wakati popote ulipo popote unapo tembea popote unapo 
uh, uh, unapofanya kazi Kamora mora miti mie teach uonekane wewe ni mkristo yeo nenye ni ya kristo na wazungu walisema jambo moja nzuri wazungu no watch watch mora chiel that charity begins at home ni gino kata kido maber chako rema na gidara wezi kuonyesha tabia nzuri nje ukinyal nyiso jikido mabero kama uja uja ujaanzisha nyumbani kapok ni chake gidara kwa hivyo tuanzie nyumbani kwa maana wa chaklo so kitu mabero gidara wote waone sisi ni wakristo mondo jiduto teone ni wanjo kristo tutangaze kristo waland kristo kwa njia yote eyo reduto te kama wakristo kaka jo kristo warumi 16 jo rumi apaga uchiel fungu la 17 wesa apaga birio paulo anasema jambo moja mzuri paulo wacho wach moro Anasema kwamba Owachonia na wasihi asayou kwamba nia waangalieni wale wanaoleta fitina ungie jogo makelo fitina wanaofanya fitina jogo makelo fitina na kukwazwa na kukwaza kendo mawangoi ji kama ni kinyume cha mafundisho ma en ataro marpuo mulio fundishwa mane opuonju kwa hivyo tujie pushke tujie puke nazo wa utem wa we jogo makelo tujie pushe nazo wa we jogo makelo tuomruok Uh, as Christians kaka jo Kristo do not allow outsiders to intrude kikuyene jogo manoko mondo bi odonje iwa in your families odonje iwa ka if they give you good advice kagi mi paro maber please take it ye ikao but if they they are trying to mislead you tokagi temo mondo migiwiti don't allow kikiye so many families are broken nyadi mangeny familia mangeny osekethore because of bad advice so ask yourself what kind of friends do you have from the children even if you are in school choose the right friends yer osiep makare mondi bed even as parents you should know Uh, the friends your children are associating with because they may teach them bad habits so komano let us pray always ye walempi le pile and put christ first kendo waket christo mbele in our families e familia mi this is when we can be able to succeed mane kwa nyalo di maber even some ladies en tire mine moko or some families are, are, are broken because their friends have misled them so komano choose your friend yer osiep mi bedogo is he a good is she a good friend or a en osiep maber or is he a good friend koso en ngato ma ok osiep maber and as families to kaka familia keep your families matters to be secret tem matek mondo weche mag familia ni obed siri Not everything should go to public. You can discuss with your spouse any problem at home. And you can solve it. Kasto inyalo lose kaka uno. Amicably. Ulose maber. Before it goes public. Kapok ugole embele ji ayanga. You should not even tell the church. Okiwinji okiwinji nyis kata kanisa. Because even you bring into the church. Ka ikelo e kanisa. Some people will now uh, will now tell others also. Jo moko bende dhi wuoke kae ka nyiso jo moko mbele. So the best thing Koro gimo winjo tim maber. Discuss it at home. Watch weche ni mag familia kala. Pray over it. Lemie then god will answer you kasto nya sai biro mi duoko kama ni mama ndio amefanya makosa kama yoe moti mokosa omba msamaha kwa ngono mzee kama amefanya makosa ka baba emoti mokosa pia omba omba msamaha ebende okwa ngono na muombe hilo jambo kendo wa walembi wa najua ni vigumu sana en gino mateka ni jambo nadra en gima take you do kwa mkristo kumja kristo ama kwa mjaluo kata jaluo won ama mwa afrika kata jarate kuomba mkewe kuomba mkewe msamaha mondo kwa ngama mio ngono ukijua umefanya kosa ka ingeni timo makosa omba msamaha kwa ngono na kendo kuna msemo kwamba nitire watch more roma wachonia kurudia kosa 
Kinuayokosa, ni makosa. Mano koreka en kosa. Lakini ukifanya kosa, tokai time, na uombe msamaha, toi kwayo ngwono, na uache, kasto iwe, mungu anakusame. Nyasai biro ngwono ni. So, let us have a change in our families. Wabed gilokru oke familias wa. And let us love our family. Kendo wa er familias wa. This is fundamental. Ma engi manigineengo wa hinya. First Corinthians one verse ten. Jo Corintho mo kuongo achiel west ni apar. Paulo na sema jambo ingi nzuri. Paulo wacho gi moroka anyo mabera. Na sema hivi. O wacho niya. Na wasi hi kujina labo ana wetu. Asa yu wenyingro ti Yesu. Ambaye Yesu Kristo. Ma en Yesu Kristo. Mnene mamoja. Uo kanya kla. Wala pasi we kwenu. Kendo kuiru kanyo kikwe. Ma farakano. Tuomruo kata kikruo. Mweza kunia mamoja. Ubedi ya gilengo bea chiel kendu uo kagi mora chiel. Because God created the man and the wife and they became one. And if you are one, your thoughts should be one. You should not be having a divided Ideas. Of course, I might ha I might have my own ideas. But we can sit down and harmonize. Then we agree on the way forward. And let us be people who can change. Don't stick to your opinion. You can change. For example, uh, I have planned. I have planned. I have planned to build a house. But the money is not enough. The wife can advise me to hold on. There are some fundamental or basic needs in, at, at home. And when we are doing the budget, we should give priority to the basic needs. Sometimes, I've given my wife 1,000 shillings to go to Rongo Market to buy unga, sugar, uh, even fish for the day. But when the wife reaches at the market, she finds a mutumba. Very beautiful. Let me take this one. When she moves a bit, she finds something else. And buys. But the budget was for 1,000 shillings. Do you think this budget will now work? To see what to atama. And let, avo let us avoid what we call impulse buying. We should have a budget at home. And let us pray over this budget. If the wife is working, and the husband is also working, it is better we bring our money together. Then every person should put his or her priority on the table. Then you prioritize your needs. So let us know, let us have the budget and we work within the budget. That is very important. There are some things which can wait. We call them our wants. They can wait. Then we plan for it. But let us give priority to the basic needs. And we pray. Even if the money is small, it will meet the budget. And we shall be happy. If there is peace at home, 
everything will work. If there is love at home, things will be okay. Even if you go without a meal, somebody may not notice because you have peace and love at home. Above all, let us embrace our spouses. Let us uh, uh, to waze kupenda mke ampende mzee wake wa herre kaka george mio ecclesiastes 4 angwen from verse 9 inasema owachonia afadhali kuwa wawili yani kama ber bedo jiario kuliko mtu mmoja moloyo bedo ngatachiel Kwa sababu watapata ijara Nikech, they will get a reward. Gibiro yudo zawadi kata osimbo kwa kazi yao. E teach maber magiti. Na mmoja wao akianguka tachiel kuongeka oluar mwingine anamuinua. Tomachielo biro tinge malo. Kwa hivyo kumano Suleman anasema hivi. Suleman wachonia ni ole wake en ngano en gima leta inya kwa yule ambayo ne ngatno anaishi peke yake madakende kwa sababu hakuna mtu atamshauri onge ngano mabiro mie pa hakuna mtu atam atampa ushauri onge ngano mabiro ngado nerieko na kumsaidia mondo mio konye wenda ikawa atakuwa mgonjwa nyalo bedo ni samoro tuo hakuna mungine atampeleka hospital onge ngano manyalo tere hospital kuna baba baba angu moja mtire uonu wa moro alikufa kifu cha imu na ata hange kufa imagine parnia ako na wake watatu na alikuwa nafanya kazi Nairobi na wake zake zote wamebaki nyumbani siku moja alipata alipata malaria chieng moro malaria nopo kogo eh na hakuna mutu wange mpereka hospital onge ngano mane nyalote ere hospital imagine Parnia alikaa kwa nyumba siku tatu karibu nne. Obede yot manda la dek katangwe. Ana nguvu na uwezo wa kwenda hata choo. Oonge teko maruo kudie choo. Siku ya nne. Udio chieng mara nguwe. Jirani akashuku. Jirani koro chich. Mbona hii nyumba imefungwa kila wakati. Angomu miodot ni podo lora lora. Kuna mutu ndani. Benga tontire ieka. Mbona aendi kazi wala awezi kuruli. Kako kitich. Uokbe uko uogoko. Waliamua kuvunja hiyo mlango. Negi ngado watch mondo migi turudhodini. Na walipo vunja mlango. Kane giturudhod. Wakakuta he was unconscious. Negi yudo kakuro en ngano matuma uko ngeri. And he could not be able to go to the hospital. Ne uko nyal the hospital. So they rushed him to the hospital. Negi te regi ngwecha inye hospital. Immediately they arrived at the hospital. Kane gichopi hospital. He died while he was on the queue. Ne otho kapo dene line before seeing the doctor. This is ignorance of the highest order. Why could he not take one of his wife to stay with him? The wife could have taken him to the hospital. That is why Solomon says in the book of Ecclesiastes, Ni enngano man ambaye anaishi peke yake kwa sababu hakuna mtu atamshauri hakuna mtu atamuinua akianguka so the wife is very important very important you should stay with your wife all the time you should also love your wife I had when I was in Nairobi. Kane poda Nairobi. A friend of mine was sick. Osiep na morone tuo. He had a stroke. Stroke no go eh. The wife invited us as the elders of the church. Jao de no kwe lo wakaka elders makani. So that we go and pray for him. Mondo mi wadu alem kodi. And this lady was not genuine. To mi oni ne okjaratiro. In the process of praying. Kapod ne walemo. This gentleman was writhing in pain. 
And you know what the wife said? She should have not said it. If she had to say that, she should have said when we had left. You know what she said? Ibaro wiwa. Unatupigia tikelele. Okay, Thor, okay, Mondo. Si ukufe. Mondo, iwe chandowa. Ili uwache kutusumbua. And imagine she was saying this in the presence of the elders of the church. O wacho maka, jokwede maka nisa benitie. Let us have genuine love. Because Paul says, what can separate us from thy love? Is it sickness? I'm a ninja. I'm a uchi. I'm a la. In Aonekana, who you mama tayari alisha acha mzewake. Chalini mama ni tayari mzewake. Na alikuwa nangojia tu mzewa fanya nini? Kenduri ito mondo jaduongo tho. Hili ya pate na fasi ya fanya raha zake. Mondo yudu tuolo o tim raha ne. Let us have genuine love. And God will bless us. Philippians 4 verse 11 to 13. It says, Be contented with what you have. To see when a tama. To see when a tama. Tuweze kuridhika. Wabed ni gigo mawango oromoa. Na kutosheka na yale tunacho. Wabed gigmago oromoa. Kama ni kidogo. Katotin. Ama ni nyingi. Katongen. Paul says. Paulo wacho ni. I have learned to live. Asipu njorada. With the little I have. Gimatin maango. So as Christians. Kaka jo Christo. We need to be contented. Owinjo beni mawango oromoa. With what we have. Mawango do owinjo oromoa. Tusiwe na tama. Kikwa bed gigombo. Tukiwa na tama. Kawa bedo gigombo. Familia inaweza kuvunjika. To familia nyalo ketore. Kwa hivyo, Kumano, tu, tuwe watu wa kiasi. Wabed jogo, mabedo gi rapim. Let us live within our means. Wadagi kalu origi yuto wa. I know we may be desiring for more. Ngeni samoro wa nyalo duwa romangeni. But we don't have the ability. To waonge teko mari udo mangeni. That is why there is a say. Mane mumi untire wachimoro. That you need to cut your coat according to your height. Minya kakoro ingadma na koti ni kalu origi size ni. Ladies, I know we love fashion. fashion. But don't tell your wife to buy you that fashion. If you know that he's not able to buy. Sometimes they go extra mile even to take these things on credit. And uh, finally, Togikone, it is the husband who will pay. But when she was taking these things, she did not consult the husband. Such actions has led to the breakage of families. So before you buy something, even if you need something, let us sit down as family. We discuss. We agree. We see what is urgent and what can wait. All these are possible if we incorporate Jesus in our families. If we incorporate Jesus in our decisions. But if you do it alone, it may not be possible. This is why Paul says in that book of Philippians 4 verse 11 to 13 verse 13 he says na yaweza mambo yote katika yeye anitiai ngubu. Hallelujah. Amen. You can only succeed in life if you accept Jesus to lead you, to give you strength, to make decisions, 
this is when we can succeed. Mano e but mabe. if we do it on our own, kiwa, we may not succeed. To and mabe. our families may break. To so mabe. the basic thing is that Gino moloyo enia, let us incorporate Jesus in our family decision. E and familia. let us be prayerful families. Let us pray all the time. First Timothy 6, verse 6. Timothy, Timotheo Mokonga Uchiel, Wesa Uchiel. Paulo Anasema. Paulo Wachonia. Tuwe na utawa. Utawa is godliness. Wabed jogo maler. It says godliness with contentment. Kendo magigo mawangodo oromoa. Is when we can succeed. Eka wanyalo di maber. Kwa hivyo pamoja na kuridhika. Ni faida kubwa. Eno ni faida kubwa kwako. Eno ni faida kubwa kwangu. Eno Kwa hivyo. Kumano, kama wa Kristo. Kaka jo Kristo. Tuwe tunatosheka. Wabed jogo magigo mawangodo oromwa. Na yale tunazo. Gigo mawangodo oromwa. Tusiwe na tamaa. Kikwa bed gigombo. Kwa yale ambayo atuwezi. Ne gigo maokwanya. Atuwezi kujimudu. Okwanya ritore. For that reason. Kumano. Let us ask Christ to. To lead us, to guide us, and let us be contented with the little we have. And by so doing, we can succeed in life. How many do pray with me? That by the grace of God, henceforth, we shall incorporate Jesus in our daily life so that he can guide us he can lead us so that he can bring peace in our homes because without him we cannot do anything we can say like Paul that naiaweza mambo yote katika ye anitia ngu wangapi wanaomba na mimi Mungu awabariki Mbarikiwe nyote Mbarikiwe Na sanane Naomba muje wote Somo langu ya leo Is for everybody Haita kwa ya young couples Ama the youth even children it is for everybody and for that reason I'm inviting you all to come so that we can be blessed together may God bless you may God bless you abundantly uh, let me invite the choir to come and crown the crown uh, the, the, the thank you Amen. And be blessed. Amen.